This is the South Presentation Convent Garden where Nano Nagel is buried. I'm not entirely sure where in this beautiful garden, but that is the gate we came in down there. And I'm just walking around the perimeter, just enjoying the scenery. We're in Cork right now, what's known as South Prez to the sisters. So I'm going to pause this and be right back. Beautiful crucifixion scene statue in the corner here. Very detailed. And a very large spider. Oh, he's a, she's huge and very freaky looking. And has eaten several little buggers that would have otherwise eaten us. So, thanks, spider. There's a rose garden kind of out of season. Very beautiful. This is um, beyond is the old convent building. And then as I pan to the right, it is old cork, new cork. Cool. We're here by, looks like a plum tree. Nice and adorable sheep statues. The rose is kind of gone out of season. Sacred Heart of Jesus statue. This is the new convent building, which big old quotes around it, because I think it was built in the 1920s which is the era that the Presentation Sisters Convent in St. John's was built. And this is a beautiful church. Copper bell tower. Some stained glass. Very gothic. And over here, this is a um, cemetery of the sisters. That right there is Nano Nagel's tomb, which we'll be visiting in a moment. Okay, right, we're down here at the bottom, where this is. Uh, you can see, okay. This is the actual tomb area. Uh, she's been replaced several times. Um, this is her resting place as of 1984. Uh, you can reach in this little door here. You get one of these little booklets. Like so. It talks about her life. There's prayers and things for you. If I had one, I would bring it home. I'll bring a second one for the sisters over at St. John's. Talks about where her original resting place was. It has this nice little grotto. You can leave your petition. And little areas there, a little prayer. And a little inscription. This side of Nano's grave is the burying ground for all the sisters here in this particular convent. And there are quite a few. All laying here together from the late 1700s until just the other day. That's the groundskeeper. Just 
Sister Veronica, Sister Mary Catherine, Mary Peter. Um, and it will tell you, for example, Sister Mary Columbia here, um, what day she died, how old she was at her death, how long she had been uh, a member of the order, professed 17 years. Um, and then they always rest, send it up, rest in peace. And they're all pretty uniform. Very simple, beautiful stones. Yeah. And his relatives, she's a neighbor. All the way through. Sister Bonaventure, who died on the 3rd of September, at 85 years old, professed 51 years. Now, in most of these, it gives you uh, their given name as well as their religious name. Um, and I'll see some of the more recent ones where they weren't necessarily perhaps required to change their name. It just gives the, you know, what they were, you know, Sister Rosa, Sister Juliana, and etc. And below us now are the private gardens of the convent. Um, hand upwards. Like this. He came in. Right there. The burial area is behind us. Um, and these are just some beautiful garden paths. And that little sign right there says private. And that, and that is the gardens of South Presentation here in Corpus.